everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and we are here in the guest bedroom and we're going to start to decorate for Christmas. I um, was doing something and my son popped his head in and said, I want to decorate more for Christmas. I said, you don't have to ask me twice. So first we're going to start off by putting together this pink Christmas tree. I found this on eBay a few years ago. Brand is Warren Plastic Christmas Tree in this beautiful shade of pink. Um, so let me find the base and it doesn't take too long to put it together. All right, so here, here's the next branch. So he wants to put ornaments on, so he's doing that. And I have a tree skirt to put around it. Last year I put it on top of my green cabinet, but I think it's gonna go on top of this white dresser this year. And I'm looking here in my bin and I have these acrylic ornament hangers. I found these brand new in packages, probably at a rummage sale for, I want to say 50 cents. Mm -hmm. And the fact that they were new and they were clear and they were so inexpensive, I picked them up and I thought, oh, maybe they'll come in handy. So I'm going to um, display these two pretty fragile ornaments. This was a rummage sale find for about 50 cents. It's pink. It's not broken, so let's try and keep it that way. <laughs> Pep talk to myself. So I'll just put that there for a second. And then I have this beautiful pink swan. And it was one of those things I had been eyeballing on uh, eBay, and they were pretty expensive. And then I came across one at a moving slash estate sale, and uh, it was two dollars. <laughs> I could not believe it. It was, it is in such amazing condition that I really didn't even know if it was new or older, but pretty sure it's, it's older. Okay. And I feel like that really highlights both of those pieces. So that's going to go next to um, the Christmas tree on top of that dresser. I have some pink ornaments. I found these from my favorite lady who um, has her yard sales in my favorite community and um, two packages of those. I think they were marked 50 cents a piece and they have the uh, original price tag from the department store. And I have this garland and I love putting this stuff up and remembering like every sale and where I got it from. So this was a humongous house that I went to and I found a little bit of vintage Christmas and this was one of the pieces. Now when this was originally purchased I bet these were bright green and red but they've actually faded to aqua and pink and they've got gold and silver. I just love them so I'm going to hang those over those two little brackets for the curtain rod. This is the tree skirt that I have to go on the tree. I also found this on eBay. I really like that, it looks very handwritten. It's pink, it's felt. So there's the tree and I have both of the ornaments. I think I need to just pull out my other box and see what I have. Because here is my other box. I love this piece. I got this at an estate sale and it's got little cherubs on it. And when I opened it in the top, it has some Christmas deals from 1942. And then uh, I have these, this bird and this, um, we'll call these, sometimes they're Czech, sometimes they're Japan, little pieces, some garland. I, I just thought, I don't know, I just liked them. <laughs> I just liked them all together in there, like a little surprise when you open it. And then I've got some art pieces I've made with some paper dolls. Well, the outfits for paper dolls, that's 1906. So I love the pink and the aqua in here, and then I love this aesthetic for this room. So we're just going to mix and match. I'm just mixing the items in here with my jewelry boxes, and then I... Oh, took the lid off of this box and it's where I have some ornaments that I will put under the Christmas tree. Um, these are mainly the pink ones. I've got the little glitter birds with the crazy Google eyes and some stars, some Santas, this gorgeous bird. 
Look at that gorgeous color. These little gnomes, oh, I love their faces. So I have a few of those, so I kept all like the pink ones for in here. Although my daughter's room, we have a lot of pink as well. I've added an elf and a bird up here. And we've got lots of little birds on the tree. I'm almost finished decorating. It actually doesn't take too long when I just have two boxes on the tree. So I'm gonna move this um, to my dresser area. So I thought I could hang it here, but it was kind of low. And then I remembered I removed a frame I had on the wall. So I actually have a hook right there and I think it will fit perfectly. And even though it is a child's jacket, I think it would be really nice to put a corsage on it. So everything's pretty much done, uh, but when I have the lights off, I think it'd be nice to have some twinkle lights on those shelves. So I think I need to make a purchase, and as soon as those come in, I will share the finished room. I found lights to put on the shelves. I was gonna order some from Amazon, but I was nervous in case they came and I didn't like the color white they were. So I found these thrifting, and they were so inexpensive. So on the shelf, I only have one thing for Christmas and it's a photograph. I purchased this on Etsy years ago and I love the blurry lights and the bokeh effect. I put it in a thrifted frame that I had purchased even longer ago. It's really neat because it is a thick paper and it's made to look like a doily and I just gave it a, a coat of white paint. I can't remember what it was, but I wanted it to be whiter. So turn the lights on to give you a better look. We have the garland on top of the window. And then over here, my little pink wonderland with birds and my little gnomes. The last area I decorated was here on top of my craft cabinet. We've got a little bird sitting on a jewelry box, glitter in a perfume bottle, and a piece of framed ephemera. I made it, uh, I think, last year. A new sculpture. Behind that, I've leaned some wool that is from France. I loved the green color and the gold. And another framed piece. These are some paper doll outfits. Christmas designs from 1916. And the last piece is this velvet child's jacket that I added a corsage to. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in another Christmas video very soon. Bye.